13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Good Monday to you. I'm Ross DiMatteo right now with your 13 Action News Update. The Golden Knights are back on the ice at T-Mobile Arena tonight, hoping to make it three straight wins to start their season. This will be the first of a four-game series against the Arizona Coyotes. The first two of those games will be at home, while the other two will be played in Mesa, Arizona. The, the uh, Knights started the season right, winning their first two games against the Anaheim Ducks, hoping to make it three in a row. Puck drops at 7 p.m. tonight. And today is not just Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It also marks the 63rd anniversary of Willie O'Ree becoming the first black player to skate in the NHL. Through the end of Black History Month in February, all players will be wearing a sticker on their helmets featuring Willie O'Ree on it. They say celebrating equality on them. And in observance of MLK Day today, there is no school and no free meals today for CCSD students. But food distribution sites and school will be back open again tomorrow morning. CCSD gives free meals to all kids who are between the ages of 2 and 18 years old. And gas prices here in the Valley are starting to rise. That's according to GasBuddy.com. The average price is up 4 cents per gallon in just the last week. Analysts for the site say crude oil prices are up as demand shows sign of uh, signs of recovery from the pandemic. Rumors that President-elect Joe Biden plans to cancel the approval of the Keystone XL pipeline is also leading to the rise in gas prices. The average price is $2.69 a gallon here in the Valley, and the lowest price you'll find here is $2.29 a gallon at Costco. A beautiful and breezy start to the week with temperatures today well above the seasonal average in the upper 60s, but a big cool down coming for the rest of the week as we settle into a more unsettled weather pattern. Your Monday night showing mostly clear to partly cloudy skies and that stubborn breeze sticking around. Our wind speeds 10 to 20 miles per hour overnight into tomorrow morning. Today's breeze brought in by a cold front, so today's high of 67 degrees looking much different for your Tuesday will drop about 10 degrees with highs capped in the upper 50s tomorrow. It'll still be breezy with gusts up to 30 miles Miles per hour, but we calm down and warm up Wednesday and Thursday ahead of our next storm system that brings the return of colder conditions, breezy wind, and the possibility for rain as we work our way toward the weekend. All right, Danny, thanks. That was your 13 Action News update, and you can always get the latest news at KTNB.com.